Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and today I have a couple of awesome iOS 13 jailbreak updates to discuss with you that basically build on the news that we covered earlier today. So this video that you're currently watching is basically like part two for part one. Check out this video I pushed out earlier today. It's linked in your cards now as well as down below in the description. In that video, we talk about how Hacker Luca Tedesco has made progress in the development of what looks like could be the first iOS 13 jailbreak based on the Checkmate boot ROM exploit. So I wanted to share these two new follow-up tweets with you guys from Luca. The first one, he actually is talking about a frame buffer text that he created for the jailbreak, but the second one we're going to talk about first, he said in response to someone, quote, leaked material, and it's a screenshot of an application's GUI or graphical user interface, and it says connect a DFU device, but up at the top for the name, it seems like it's going to be called CheckRain, so this could be the name of the first iOS 13 jailbreak, and it actually seems to pay homage back to LimeRain, which was the first first boot ROM based exploit that was made public by hacker GeoHot. Again, one of the greats. And this name is a combination seemingly of that and Checkmate, the Checkmate exploit. This is the second public known boot ROM exploit. So this is a combination of those two things. Now it's unclear whether CheckRain will actually be similar to what was released first with the LimeRain exploit or whether it'll be something like a custom firmware utility or toolkit like Ponage Tool and Snow Breeze for Windows. But let's go ahead and back out here and talk about this second tweet because guys, we seemingly have the name of the next iOS 13 jailbreak. I mean, that's pretty newsworthy in my opinion, but if that wasn't enough, he tweeted out earlier before that, quote, made a frame buffer text thing, looks dope to be honest, and it seems to be an iPhone going through the exploitation process. And I wanted to share something with you in the contributions quickly, but this image itself does seem to suggest that he's even further along in the development of this utility than I thought or anyone thought previously, which is fantastic news. We could get a jailbreak soon. Remember in part one, we actually talked about how he himself said that a release is basically imminent and that he just has to finalize a few things and correct some bugs with the utility. We don't have any sort of ETA and we won't get one. It'll just be released if and when he deems it fit. But on this image right here, where it says made with contributions by, you can see hacker I hate Snow's name, who I just mentioned as one of the fantastic hackers on the scene from quite some time ago who released a utility by the name of Snowbreeze. It was a custom firmware tool for Windows that again, allowed you to create a firmware for your device that had Cydia integrated into it and would allow you to restore to it. So this could potentially mean that CheckRain is based on something either I Hate Snow created or that he's working in collaboration with him. But seeing as I Hate Snow hasn't tweeted out anything or hasn't really been active on the scene in a very, very long time, it's likely going to be the former. So maybe CheckRain will in fact be a tool that'll allow you, or a toolkit rather, to allow you to create a custom firmware and then to boot tethered on top of that once it is deployed. So significant progress has seemingly been made in the development of an iOS 13 jailbreak. We're further along than we thought. Great news. We also know what it might in fact be called, CheckRain fantastic stuff. Subscribe if you have yet to. I'm going to be keeping you guys completely covered and in the loop as things progress. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.